Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. For the last 10 years of Catherine Coleman's life, and as far as I'm concerned, she had greater miracles than I've ever seen in my entire lifetime. This woman prayed with her, worked with her, and she got healed of an incurable disease. And when she got healed, that same miracle anointing that was on Catherine Coleman stuck to her. And I'm going to have her pray that anointing come on you and miracles are released. Uh, Joan Geeson, I felt Catherine Coleman had the highest level miracle ministry I have ever witnessed in my life. You had the high privilege of being with her the last 10 years of her life uh, in let's say her inner circle, uh, two of the three women that were part of that are in heaven now. Uh, you were telling me that there were many times that you would hold her hand and the two of you would pray before a service. And one time you told me you almost felt like you were being lifted off the ground. Tell me about that. These are experiences you will never forget because they're not normal. And literally, when you held that woman's hand, you did feel like you were being lifted. There was such a power, such a simplicity that you walked in that. You walked in it. It wasn't anything you had to prepare for. You walked in the spirit of the living God. and. Today, that's as real today as it was then. Well, let me tell you something. On this set, it's real right now. I believe anything is possible. Absolutely. Anything is going to happen during this Absolutely. show. Absolutely. But I want to take you back to your 27 years old. You, uh, you have something that should happen to no one. My husband and I had a little boy, and he was beautiful, and he was wonderful. And it was Michael and I in the house. And I stooped over to pick up one of the little toys he dropped. And when I raised up, I couldn't see. And there was a doctor at the end of our block. At the end of the street, there was a doctor's office. And they took me down there. And he said, I don't think I can do anything. What I can see that there are hemorrhages behind both eyes. And I want you to go to a, he was a brain specialist. His name was Edmund Smolik in St. Louis. He was considered one of the very best. He looked in the eyes and the optic nerve behind both eyes was swollen into the brain and there were hemorrhages behind both eyes. Now that is the reason I couldn't see. And they said I would never see. They said I would never live. Uh, it in got fact, worse. you told me you uh, were preparing for death. I already had. I gave my little boy to my sister, and I gave all my clothes because my mom and I were the same size, and I became a young woman in a bed. And now it's Michael's first day of school. He's five and a half years old. Time for him to go to school. I was determined to take him to school. So he helped me walk to the bus, got on the bus, went to the school, and I, the teacher put a chair out in the hall. I said, I'll sit right here and I'll wait for him. So the time went by and 
she came out and said, Joan, Michael doesn't feel well. You're going to have to take him home. I said, Judy, I can't. I don't drive anymore. I came on the bus. And all of a sudden, there was a lady. I didn't hear her come up. I didn't see her. A lady, and she said, I overheard, and I'll be glad to take you home. And on the way home, this lady kept talking about Jesus, and it became so simple to me. And she said, I knew these people, and I had to lead them to Jesus. And I said, you did? Well, how did you do that? And as she was telling me, I was repeating it inside myself, dear Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. The blood of your son covers me. Let me live. Let me be saved. That day, I became a born-again child of God, but I was still blind. And one day, you heard a radio program, and you heard a voice. What did that voice say? Hello there. Have you been waiting for me? <laughs> Not for me. For me. <laughs> and, and you just, she just knew that she could get a miracle if she could get to that Catherine Coleman service. And so her husband, Frank, and her, her girlfriend, Shirley, who had MS, went to this meeting. Now, when you got inside there, what was the first thing you could feel? Well, we didn't get a front row or a second row. We were in 56, as I can remember, row mm -hmm. 56. That was pretty far in the back. And we sat down, and I closed my eyes, and I started to cry. And Frank said, stop crying. And I kept crying and crying and crying. And I said, Frank, I think I can see. And he said, no, you can't. Stop talking. <laughs> no, you can't. I said, but Frank, I think I can. And he said, no, you can't. You can't. Honey, don't get yourself all excited now. We're just here to listen to a sermon. <laughs> and I opened my eyes, Sid, and I could see. I could see the color of the cloth on the pulpit. I could see the marble. I could see the people. But you told me you felt a light on your head. Explain. A light, a light just like the light over our head, uh -huh. shining bright. But it was a light that came down that went through me. I still feel the light. You know why? Here's what I believe. I believe it was at that moment that God selected Joan to be a helper to the Catherine Coleman ministry and equipped her with amazing gifts of the Spirit. Okay, what happened to your friend with MS? She got healed. She came out of the wheelchair, and she walked in front of how many ever that church held. And she walked and she ran, and Miss Coleman would go like this, well, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> and Shirley would run, and she'd come back. You told me last night that people with MS are going to be physically healed. Will Absolutely. you pray for them right now? Absolutely. Father God, in the name <clears throat> of Jesus, you've given me the word, Father. You spoke that to me. I've heard that for one and a half days, that MS People, right now, there's someone getting out of your wheelchair. Right now, you're standing up for the first time in a long time. Don't be afraid. Just walk. Just walk. Now, that was a man. There's a woman also. You're hesitant, honey. You're hesitant. Don't second guess it. Just get up. Get up out of your wheelchair, and God will help you. There's many of you, and it doesn't have to be MS. It's anyone in a wheelchair, anyone with an affliction. The Spirit of God is here. The Spirit of God is on you, just like us in this studio. He's touching you. He's personally. You can feel him. I've got goose pimples everywhere. You can feel his touch. You're not alone in that house. He's with you. Do something you could not do before. God is real. Don't be afraid. 
It's okay. It's good. It's the Holy Spirit alive right next to you, in you, and around you. Ask him for anything that you have need of. Yeah. But you know what? What? You didn't tell me what happened to you and Frank when you went up to tell Miss Coleman that you were healed. Is Frank convinced you're healed at this point? Well, he's confused. <laughs> I mean, he brought me to a healing service that he didn't want me to go anywhere. He said, I said, I'm going to go. He said, you can't go. You can't see. You can't do this. And I said, I can. <laughs> and he said, no, you can't. And I said, I believe God's just healed me. So I got out and started walking down, and I heard this little voice say, hold up, I'm right behind you. And it was Frank. <laughs> and we got down to Miss Coleman, and here I am, the star of the show, okay? I'm the one that's healed. And she looks at my husband, and she goes, oh, the glory of this husband. And he goes out and he gets, they get him up and she goes, oh, the glory. And he goes down again. Okay, then she finally prayed for you. I mean, you were getting a little jealous, I think. Absolutely, just a little <laughs> bit, just a bit. And it took us 18 hours to get back home and we're talking about Jesus all night. So what she did is she started renting buses and filling it with sick people and bringing these sick people to the Catherine Coleman meeting to get healed. But something happened along the way. Most of the people many times were physically healed before they even got to the Dear meeting. God. Tell me about one person that had cancer, a little girl. Oh, a little girl. Yes. Oh, that was fabulous. She must have been about eight years old, and she was from Missouri. She was from St. Louis, and she got healed, and it was in her leg, and they were going to amputate her leg. And it was big, huge, huge, big. Here was this little bitty frail girl, seven, maybe eight, and this this leg, and the it was hideous looking at, and it, the odor, you could smell it. And instantly God healed that thing. Instantly God healed that thing. And there's 56 usually to 60 seats on a bus. And there was probably 56 people on that bus and they watched it. They saw it. You talk about faith. It, it, I, I imagine anyone could have been healed of anything. Anything but at all. the thing that's so amazing is it's on the bus going to the meeting that's before right. they even that's get there. That's right. Hallelujah. But then, some, I mean, you've got, we have a Hebrew word, it's called chutzpah. It's chutzpah, nerve. yeah. You've got chutzpah, lady. Let me tell you what she does. On her own, God starts talking to her. Tell me the first person that was healed in a meeting that you walked up to and how The that guy happened. was deaf. And of course, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was deaf. And I walked up to him and I put my hands on his ears. And not his ears, just his head. And I said, something is wrong. I said it was his stomach that was healed. And he just sat there and all of a sudden he said, look, lady, there was never anything wrong with my stomach. And I said, okay, you can grieve God if you want to, but he's healing you anyway. That stomach is healed. He said, lady, there's never been anything wrong with me. Never have I had one thing wrong with my stomach. Now he's irate. And I said, all right, all right, don't grieve God's spirit. I turned and started to walk from him, and I hear this, oh, 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 oh. and I thought, oh, now what? And I turned back, and here this lady next to him is sobbing, sobbing from her inside. And I said, what, what? She said, that's my husband, and he has not heard a word for 40 years, not a word. And the lady said, if I would have said, your ears are deaf, okay, he would have never, ever done anything because he would have thought it was a setup. 
So the whole thing was orchestrated by God. God does it all. He's orchestrated today. He's orchestrated our audience listening today. There is nothing impossible with God. He's right there with you. We've prayed that before we even came together today at this table. There's nothing impossible. It doesn't have to be a ray of light or a thundering sound. His spirit is gentle and kind and right there to heal you. And there are people today that are coming out of the wheelchair. And some of you are not even in this country. It's difficult to understand English, but God is healing you and you're walking. Get up, just get up. He's holding your hands and just walk. And there are people right now that have been given death sentences. Don't believe it. God is the final answer. God is the true answer. Anything and all things are possible. Nothing's impossible. Just reach out. Just reach out. Reach out. And take that healing and hold him tight. Let's go back to uh, Miss Coleman. A lot of people don't know about her compassion. Tell me what you observed. In love with people. And well, she gave her life. She gave her life. You would see her weeping over those that were not healed. Her office was right at the end of the street. The street came in like this, and her office was up, I think it was on the sixth floor. And I went up there one day. And uh, we walked in, and there she is. She's crumbled. And she looked up at me, and she said, Joan, why didn't they all get healed? She strived for an answer to that. Of course, there's no answer. I heard her say that a day would be coming in which entire hospitals would be cleared out. I believe that. Do you know that's something I've prayed for? God, let me in on that. Let me be there when that happens. We're, we're coming. I'm going to tell you something. We're coming to that day. But in the meantime, there's such an awesome presence of God that just as we're talking, you're going to get healed. Tell me about the time she went uh, had a, had a, uh, from a meeting, had to get away. So she walked through the kitchen. And what happened? How many chefs did oh, they have there? Oh, the chefs were cooking the food. This mm -hmm. isn't an auditorium. Mm -hmm. This is not her church. This is right. an auditorium. And here are the chefs. She's walking down the aisle, and they're falling on the floor. And there's hats, and there's spoons, and it's going <laughs> clang, clang, you know. And Frank and Miss Coleman are at the elevator, and she turns around. And she goes, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was so precious. Everybody's on the floor. And Miss Coleman knew that it had nothing to do with her. So she always kept herself humble. I'm going to ask Joan to pray for an impartation of the miracle anointing and pray for miracles when we come back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Joan Giesen lives in an atmosphere of miracles. She spent over eight years working for healing evangelist Catherine Kuhlman. She received exclusive access to one of the greatest healing ministers of all time. Now she wants to share what she saw, what she learned, and impart to you the same anointing that she received. It's so simple. It really is simple. It is simple. You can't make it complicated, otherwise you miss the entire thing. Call now and get Joan Giesen's brand new book, Healing in His Presence, and her anointed three-part audio CD teaching, Keys to the Miraculous, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9451. Through Joan Giesen's brand new book, she shares secrets behind the power and anointing of Catherine Kuhlman. These secrets 
Secrets are a blueprint of how to operate in the miraculous today. Through incredible stories, powerful testimonies, and transferable teaching, you will feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in a powerful way as you read this book. Understand the importance of being prepared and ready to be used by God at any time. Learn the keys to how God's power can be available to you every moment of the day. Understand the importance of being humble and giving God all the glory for what He accomplishes through you. Find out how compassion for others is one of the secrets to unlock the miraculous in your life. Learn how to create an atmosphere for miracles through worship and declarations of God's Word. Become a portable meeting place where people can experience God's healing power through you. Through her exclusive three-part audio CD series, Joan Giesen demystifies the supernatural, demonstrates the reality of miracles, gives you the keys to operating in the supernatural of God, teaches you how to begin walking in the presence of the Holy Spirit every moment of the day. Through her audio CD series, Joan ministers and prays powerful prayers of impartation for healing, salvation, deliverance, and for you to be empowered to impart miracles to others. Don't miss out on getting Joan Giesen's brand new book, Healing in His Presence, and her anointed three-part audio CD teaching, Keys to the Miraculous, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9451. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9451 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. You know, Joan, there's so many things that I observed about Catherine Coleman that really provoked me to jealousy. I really w wanted yeah. those things. Yeah. But I'd have to say the, the thing that was so obvious to me is she had such an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. Tell me a bit about that. Yield is the word. Gift is the word, she, uh, total relinquishment of her as a, just a regular woman. And this woman was committed, her body, her mind, her soul, everything about her walked in that commitment. And now I don't know if I am exaggerating the issue, but she would come out of her office and cross Fifth Street there, and she would walk through this traffic. And everywhere she went, they didn't know who she was, but you could feel her, that atmosphere of God's Holy Spirit in that woman just walking down the street. And it touched people on the side of her. I love that. So love she that. carried the atmosphere of heaven oh, she did. wherever she went. She but did. guess what? So do you. I love it and I <laughs> receive it and I do and I want it always until my last breath. And so can you. Are you expecting this moment to get physically healed? Are you? Something very special is about ready to happen. When that light came above you, you couldn't see anything, and then all of a sudden you could see. That's right. Something more was deposited. The I presence of God was yes. deposited upon you. Yes. The Bible says, freely I have received, freely I give. Would you pray for people to receive what you have? And Father, as this man, Sid Roth, spoke those words, a chill went through my body, thinking how real and uh, what I have received and what Sid has received, we give to you. Nothing is impossible. The spirit of the living God, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is here on you, on you. The spirit of the living God is raising you from that bed of affliction. Don't look back. What the doctors say is all right. They're good men, but he is God. He 
he breathed life into you. Take it back. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. All I can say is what Jesus said, it is finished. Joan Giesen lives in an atmosphere of miracles. She spent over eight years working for healing evangelist Catherine Kuhlman. She received exclusive access to one of the greatest healing ministers of all time. Then Joan became a key behind the scenes minister with Benny Hinn, traveling across 18 countries, praying for the sick in his meetings. Now she wants to share what she saw, what she learned, and impart to you the same anointing that she received. Catherine made it so simple. You make it so simple. It really is simple. It is simple. You can't make it complicated, otherwise you miss the entire thing. Call now and get Joan Giesen's brand new book, Healing in His Presence, and her anointed three-part audio CD teaching, Keys to the Miraculous, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9451. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It's not rules and regulations. It's an attitude of heart that is going to change in your life. Through Joan Giesen's brand new book, she shares secrets behind the power and anointing of Catherine Kuhlman. These secrets are a blueprint of how to operate in the miraculous today. Through incredible stories, powerful testimonies, and transferable teaching, you will feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in a powerful way as you read this book. Understand the importance of being prepared and ready to be used by God at any time. Learn the keys to how God's power can be available to you every moment of the day. Under Understand the importance of being humble and giving God all the glory for what He accomplishes through you. Find out how compassion for others is one of the secrets to unlock the miraculous in your life. Learn how to create an atmosphere for miracles through worship and declarations of God's Word. Become a portable meeting place where people can experience God's healing power through you. There's no exaggeration. You cannot exaggerate the things of the Lord. There's no putting in a little bit of yourself because that isn't possible. It's all Him. And when you give yourself to Him, all things are possible. Through her exclusive three-part audio CD series, Joan Giesen demystifies the supernatural, demonstrates the reality of miracles, gives you the keys to operating in the supernatural of God, teaches you how to begin walking in the presence of the Holy Spirit every moment of the day. Through her audio CD series, Joan ministers and prays powerful prayers of impartation for healing, salvation, deliverance, and for you to be empowered to impart miracles to others. Catherine Coleman, in my opinion, the greatest miracle ministry I've ever witnessed in my lifetime. Anything Catherine did, you can do, I can do, and you can do. I can't wait to get in your hands this brand new book and brand new exclusive three CD set. Don't miss out on getting Joan Giesen's brand new book, Healing in His Presence, and her anointed three-part audio CD teaching, Keys to the Miraculous, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9451. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9451 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Did you know that God wants to use every one of you in words of knowledge? Join me, Sean Bowles, on It's Supernatural as I share some of the keys to accessing the secrets of God.